what is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at how you can make your redmi note 6 pro into a pixel 3 xl so yeah finally power ops are out for this tulip and i'm extremely excited because i've been testing this thing from almost like last two weeks with some awesome developers anand shekawat saksham all are just amazing dudes and developers because as long as i know xiaomi hasn't given the device trees or the kernel sources for the tulip yes it's been like one to two months that this thing has been launched and still there is nothing available for it so these guys had to work with the wired scratch sources and yeah here you go finally we have a working power rom with volte and everything working so as you can see this is a pixel experience rom and there is nothing a lot over here as you can see pixel 3 has been launched for like almost a half year now so pretty much we know everything about the ui but let's just take a look how it looks on our redmi note 6 pro like i have the beautiful red color over here this is the first video that i'm making on this device and looks just fabulous i mean the display is much more better than the poco phone f1 but still there are some light leaks over here at the bottom as you can see but overall quality is pretty much better than the poco phone f1 but let's just take a look so first of all starting from the apps as you can see they are completely white uh, extremely plain ui from the android pi there are still no words on the miui pi beta for this thing but we can just work with this right now if you want the latest of the android then again this is the messages app looks extremely cool then again on the left of the launcher you have your normal google now pretty handy the rom is extremely butter smooth and fluid you also have your weather and date over there at the top going through more apps you have a calendar camera clock contacts then again my files fm radio has been also included and then just bunch of google stuff but if you go to the camera Yes, you have a completely working Gcam over here. Now, this Gcam is from the Pixel 2 because Pixel 3 ones aren't that stable as this is a new sensor from Xiaomi. So that would take time. But until then, the Pixel 2 ones just work perfect. Again, you can just go to the portrait mode. The portrait mode completely works fine. There are no lags or issues over here. But let's just go back and explore the settings. So hop on there. Going through the settings, as you can see, again, a completely white look. If you go to the battery, you have a bunch of stuff over here, such as, for example, a lot of optimizations through Google. You have your battery manager, which is just adaptive battery. You can toggle that over here. Again, go back. If you go to over here, battery usage in depth, you have your normal Android battery usage over here. Pretty great. None of the features have been removed. If you go to the display, pretty much everything is working over here. There is no double tap to wake as Xiaomi hasn't still given the kernel sources. I mean, bunch of the stuff over here has been made from scratch, which is again hats off to the devs. So again, scrolling down, you have the device theme. You can turn it to dark, light or just automatic based off wallpaper. Dark looks pretty cool on this thing as we have a notch. So for example, completely turns to the black or grayish theme. If you go to the settings, it doesn't apply over here as this is still a stock Android implement. It doesn't work as the lineage OS, but we will just keep it on the light. Then again, you have ambient display, which definitely works. Screen saver, display size, just a bunch of stuff from stock Android. You do have beautiful animations thanks to Pixel 3. Now going back, you have accessibility, accounts and stuff and the Xiaomi Doze. Now Xiaomi Doze is just bunch of gestures and just deep sleep for your phone. Now the deep sleep hasn't been included right over here cause again, I guess kernel source issue maybe, but you do have pocket mode, hand wave, pickup and the ambient display, which can be also turned on on the display section. Pretty great addition by the developers and you have digital well-being embedded. Now, as you can see, the digital well-being is now out of the beta, but surely works pretty much the same. So you can get a whole idea of what apps are using your battery. Again, you get a more info about it. As you can see, pretty great touch by Google. Again, it has a grayscale mode, which is of no use on our LCD panel. But I mean, it helps if you go here. Oh, shit, that's hotspot. Uh, grayscale. Again, if you're reading something, it's much more easier on your eyes, which is again great. Then going to the system, you have about phone section, then in advanced you have multiple users, developer options, system updates. Yes, it is working over here as this is an official pixel experience build. That's why I took my time to make this video because everything is just working right now. And then you have gestures. I mean, gestures, you just have your normal pixel three gestures such as jump to camera, then swipe up on home. No, additional gestures haven't been added over here yet. Maybe in future they would be. But as you can see, you can turn your normal navbar on or just the Pixel 3 gestures, which I'm quite handy now. Then coming to the about phone section, you have Android version 9 and the build number to the latest PQ1A, which is a very nice thing. Then the security patch is December 5, not the January. Maybe it would be coming in a week. And then Android Pie, extremely butter smooth and fluid. 
then let's just go back and take a look at the ui now the ui is again pretty much stock android so not a lot of additional features but you do get some newer toggles when compared to the android audio such as for example as i told you the grayscale from the digital well-being then again this is what your ui looks you have the night light and stuff pixel experience is pretty much completely stock and gives you just like a pixel 3 theme nothing more than that you have the volume panel over here and that's pretty much it for the ui now let's just get to the installation of this rom now the installation is extremely easy you have to just download three files and hop onto your pc so once you're onto your pc you have to just download these three files as i told you before and also unlock the phone bootloader now if you haven't already guessed that i don't know what's wrong with you but it really takes like almost three days to 14 days depends on your device when you bought it and once you unlock the bootloader just power off your phone Hold down your power and volume down at the same time to go to the fast boot mode. If you unlock the phone, you know this, just like that. Then connect the phone to your PC and then just open this ADB folder. Now in this ADB folder, you have to open in CMD and type in fast boot devices. Hit enter. As you can see, there is an odd number and fast boot detected over there. That means our device has been successfully connected. Then type in fast boot flash recovery. Then just drag in this Twerp IMG over here and hit enter. Now for me, it has gone failed as I've already done it. So it won't happen again as the newer Xiaomi phones just fail to rewrite the custom partition. So again, just grab your phone, hold on your power and volume up at the same time to just go to the recovery. Now, once you're into the Twerp recovery, you have to just go to wipe format data typing. Yes. Yes. It will wipe your whole internal storage cause we have to actually remove the MIUI encryption. Just go to home again. And as you can see, our device has been successfully detected over there with the internal storage. You have to just open the internal storage and copy this pixel experience zip over here and wait. Once the ROM has been copied, you have to just go to your device again, go to wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache data system, swipe to wipe, go home, go to install, select the ROM and swipe to flash. Now, once the ROM has been successfully installed, you have to just go to reboot, do not install, and voila, you have successfully installed Pixel 3 OS on your Tulip. Now this again will take one to three minutes and the ROM has been finally booted. So let's just start. I will just quickly set up this device. Let's just set up our fingerprint scanner quickly. Wow, it's good responsive. And there you go. We are onto the home screen. Now, as soon as you set up your device, you might face a bit of a lag over here. And that's because of the Pixel 3 wallpapers. I mean, there is not a lot of UI lag now, but there would be sometimes if you go through the Easter eggs or heavy UI stuff. So as if right now, I will just recommend you guys to just turn it off. I have actually informed the developers and they are actually looking into it, but just stay away from the live purpose as if right now there are, I mean, extremely beautiful. All of them work. Again, this city one and stuff just looks extremely beautiful. I mean, as you can see, there is a bit of a lag over there. Again, these white sands and stuff just look beautiful. They have a very good parallax effect, but as if right now, there is a whole selection from Google too. I mean, you have the same wallpapers in the stills too, so that they don't drain battery. Such as for example, this one will look awesome on my red one. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it on how you guys can turn your Redmi Note 6 Pro into a Pixel 3 XL. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos on the Redmi Note 6 Pro, which I will surely make, please subscribe down there. Also, if you have more questions on this thing, please feel free to hop on in one of my streams and see you guys in the next one. Peace.